What's up gearheads? Welcome back to another video here on Division 7 Motorsports channel. I'm your host Vinny and in today's video we're gonna fix a few things that I noticed that weren't working right on the way to DMV. Hey guys! <laughs> the furthest trip I've ever made with this car was to the DMV so a few things kind of fell off the car and stopped working on the way there so let's go address those right now. First thing to check upon visual and physical inspection was I felt the brakes not working right. And it seems like we have a leaky caliper. Wow, it's leaking a lot. Look at that tire. Let me get a closer look on this. So as you can see, we have brake fluid on the floor there and then accumulating there on the, on the axle. So um, that's a lot of brake fluid and I can even see it collecting in the wheel. So we're gonna have to remove that brake caliper and see what's going on up there. And just to make sure, let's check the severity of our problem by looking in our massive cylinder here. Ooh, yeah. As you guys can tell, we're missing a lot of fluid in the back area there. So we definitely need to address this issue before it becomes a very dangerous and potential hazard for the road. Long about now, I bet that boy wishes he had a parachute. Let's put this back on. Alrighty, let's see what we got going on here. Okay, so I can see some brake fluid accumulating in the caliper right here. I think it may be coming out of this cylinder right here. It's not coming out of the fitting right here because there's no brake fluid accumulated right there. It's mostly coming to where this thing connects together and the actual caliper itself. So let's yank this off and put it on the bench. All right, now that we got the caliper here up on the bench, I'm gonna squeeze these pistons until I see brake fluid come out of here. And I think it's this cylinder right here. So let's check to see if I'm right on that. Okay, so that cylinder did come out. Oh, there we go. <laughs> you see the dripping right there? Bingo. Wow, that's a steady drip. So I gotta figure out why it's dripping. It looks like it's getting past the seal right there. Wow, I didn't think I was gonna find it that fast. Let's check to see if the other ones are leaking. Also, this is probably why the brakes weren't working. <laughs> oh my God, that's not okay. Guys, make sure your brakes are working. You do not want this to happen. Guys, gals, whatever. If you like what I'm doing here on my channel, make sure you guys subscribe if you haven't already. I really appreciate you guys coming here and supporting me. Thank you very much. Click the bell notification so you get reminded that Wednesday and Saturday, I will be posting videos weekly. So make sure you guys remember that. With that said, let's get right back into the video. I think I found the culprit to our leak. Take a look at that piston right there and you'll see the little pinhole. See if you'll see it better over here. Who knows if that little pinhole has been doing all that damage, but safe to say it needs to be replaced. Alrighty, gearheads, we put all the brand new seals in this caliper and uh, we're ready to go and put it back on the car. And if you guys are curious to see how to put these calipers together, make sure you click the link right here in the corner of the video and I'll shoot you to a brake video. Alrighty, let's put the pads back in this caliper and put it back on the car. Alrighty, gearheads, we went ahead and put the brake caliper back onto the rotor and uh, we bled the brakes and there was no leaking. I just cleaned up everything with uh, brake clean right now. So uh, I don't see any leaking spots, which is good. So let's go ahead and move on to the exhaust pipe now that we got this done. Alrighty, now that we have our brake situation all figured out and we have no more leaks, let's take care of this exhaust pipe because man, it's annoying. No annoying sounds, right? Does this count as annoying? I know this is a terrible way to demonstrate, but if you kick it here, you can hear it rattling. So let's find the loose connection here. So I have located the point of interest. It's actually in the back side of this bracket and the bolt is super loose. You can hear it rattling by me just turning it. So I do not know if I have to take this uh, balance panel off in order for me to get to it, but let me check out and see how I can get in there because that puppy's loose. I've decided the easiest way to get to this bolt is to take this panel off, so let's go ahead and do that right now. This might be a bad idea. The panel seems to be super frozen on there. So Two 
hours later. All right, we finally got that panel off. Um, <laughs> it took a lot of tools to get it off because this screw didn't want to come out. But I finally tightened the uh, exhaust all the way down the frame. This is just the last nut to keep it from backing out. But it's in there good now. It won't make any noise. So I got to put this back together. But woo, that was a job. Alrighty, we got our valance panel back on and the exhaust pipe is tight as can be. So I think we're good here. All right, gearheads, that's gonna be the end of today's Wednesday video. We got the Corvette to where we needed it to be so that we could go and take it out on Saturday so we could drive it and enjoy it because, you know, of course, without any brakes, we can't stop. So now that we got it all situated, we could come back on Saturday and drive this car and have some fun with it. So I'm glad that we got all those small cosmetic things figured out. Now we can take it out for a ride. If you guys enjoyed today's video, please remember to leave a like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. Thanks for all your guys' great feedback. I can't wait to see you guys on Saturday. And I'm glad I got this car all figured out so that I'm not going to be running into things next time I take it out. Alrighty, guys. Take care. Thanks for coming along.